A scientist will see a mouse or rat and say, put that beast in a situation. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most independent show on the internet. My name is Riley Zumdrum, my corporate co-host, Digny. <laughs> Money time. And today it's nice outside, let's take a scroll. This is... <laughs> Best, Best Tweets of All Time Tier List. Lots of good tweets in 2023. We missed some of them, I'm sure you guys did too. Today we're gonna look at some of the best tweets of all time and rank them on a tier list, S to F. Let us know your favorite tweet of 2023 or of all time down in the comments before we even get started. Please. And before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a brand new merch drop over on Cope's website. It's linked in the description, it's on the screen. Also linked in the description is our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us or click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. You get a knife on in chat. We also have short form content on TikTok and Instagram Reels and also on Hivemind Limited, a brand new channel where we're posting our TikTok and Reels content. Ch check that out, subscribe. Also come see us live on tour, Live Mind 2024. In the flesh. Tickets are available now, link in description. One last thing before we get into the video, today's video video is brought to you by our sponsor, Rocket, Rocket Money. Money. I'll tell you more about Rocket Money later in the video. Thank you, Rocket Money. Money, baby, let's rock it. Come on, let's roll. <laughs> First tweet. Ah, yes, okay. We got a picture of Ellen DeGeneres about to play pickleball in one of the most horrendous outfits I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. It starts with the pants for me. Yeah, the pants aren't great. The stance is questionable. What's What's on her arm? I think that's a quarterback playbook. <laughs> She's calling plays. Blitz, blitz, <laughs> Tiger two. <laughs> she just looks joyless. Yeah, most impressive here is the age she's wearing on her face. I mean, what the hell happened to her? Age, just time. Looks like Bill O'Leary or something. A lot of people say she's a bad boss. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I didn't work for her. I did, briefly. You worked for Ellen, huh? Mm-hmm. How'd that go? It was good. Nothing to report? Nothing at all. She'd try and yell at me, and I'd go, like that. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> well. She'd go, oh! And I'd say, all right, I'll get back to the hedges, Mr. Generous. So you didn't work on the, sh the Ellen show. You worked at her house? Yeah. So you worked those are those hedges. That's my work. That's your work. Okay. That's pretty good, right? The tweet here is, girl, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a good Which tweet. Which is fair. That's why it gets a C for me on the best tweets of all time tier list. It's more about what Ellen presented here. I'm even going to go an F. Ah, good call. Yeah, I'm just going to F it. F the first one. F it. This one comes from Guess I Was Wrong. It says, Mike Wazowski's feeble limbs, large, vulnerable eye, and poor depth perception would make him one of the easiest Pixar characters to kill in combat. <laughs> um, I mean, while this may be true... Say it. It isn't funny. No, I don't like to picture killing <laughs> cartoon characters. I do. Oh. But this one is not descriptive enough for me. Yeah, it lacks description. I don't really get an idea of who Mike Wazowski is. No, I get, yeah, I get adjectives about his appearance. Right. But I can just look at him. I know all that stuff. Yeah. He's got tiny little limbs. He's got one eye. He's green. He's a circle. I need you to describe him more as like a little walking eyeballed green testicle. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like the Tony Hawk pro skater introduction screen. Yeah. Yeah. What is that company? Eyeball. Eyeball. Something. So, skate hard. Skate harder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wanted to talk about how he's a pencil pushing office junkie. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just like a loser workaholic. So not off to a great start. I do love that picture of old Pikachu. Chubby. Oh God, that Pikachu picture is one of my favorite images of all time. Really? He's so chubby and he's yeah. just like, I don't know. There's it's perfect. Something, it's like magical. It makes me think of childhood. Yeah. But this gets a D for me. Yeah, I'm going to go D too. I'll agree with you. <laughs> uh, this one comes from somebody with an emoji for a name. The word ramification sounds like what a surfer would call gay sex. <laughs> Ramification, man. Ramification. You want to get in the van a little ramification? <laughs> it makes me think of having sex on vacation. A ramification? Yeah, we're right. going on a ramification. For those people who don't know, it means it means consequence. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's what ramification means. All oh, right. Consequence of something bad you did. Totally. Justice. Ooh, I don't like that word either. Ramification. Don't quit saying my, my buzzwords. You're going to make me buzz. Jury. <laughs> Sentence. <laughs> Prison. That one doesn't scare me anymore. I got guys on the inside. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so did this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a C. Yeah, we're slowly climbing we're up. We're working up. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's going to get to that A and S. Yeah. Yeah, they get to the A and S and S. 
Whatever. <laughs> Uh-oh, a conversation here. So this one starts with Trash Jones, tweeting, I'm dating a comedian because he loves a tight five. Hilarious. Nice joke. <laughs> somebody says, this is such a flawless tweet. And then somebody else responds and says, it really is a perfect little comedic gem. It's industry specific, self-deprecating, and yet vaginally confident. I actually came back to it this morning as a laugh, as my <laughs> family's Disney trip is being postponed yet again, and I needed the chuckle. <laughs> Yeah. This is one of my favorite modes of comedy that exists on the internet is I don't know if this is sincere right. or somebody doing the character of being ultra sincere <laughs> as a form of comedy. I love it because this could be somebody doing like an Eric Ray Hill type of thing. Yes. Or it could be somebody who's just legitimately earnest on the internet is a little too old to understand irony. I love the hyphenated vaginally confident. <laughs> That's special. Self-deprecating and yet vaginally confident, <laughs> which honestly... That's a very popular thing on the internet. Yeah. Like a girl yeah. will be like, I'm ugly, but at least. It's soaking wet <laughs> and taut. <laughs> Industry specific too, I like. Yeah, me too. You know? yeah. Gotta be a comedian. Tight five, by the way, is a five minute comedy set. Just a tight five minutes of jokes. Mm -hmm. Some people might not know. And a tight five in Trash Jones sense is a woman ranked on a numerical scale right in the middle on looks and tight is referring to her pushy. <laughs> her what now? Her pushy. Pushy. That's not. I know. I don't like saying it, but I've heard it. I've, I've heard it around. I'm just trying to remain relevant, man. Show me your pushy. Ah, oh, pushy pics. Ah. Yeah. That's not how it's bad. It doesn't matter. Uh, B. Really? Eh, climbs up there for me. I'm going A. I gotta quit agreeing with you at some point. Otherwise, what are they watching for? They don't just watch to see us disagree. I oh yeah. I don't think my so. fans do. Your fans might watch for something else. That was really loud. Yeah. That was like <laughs> aggressive. It was yeah. odd. Yeah. I'm drawing the line down. My fans watch us to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You work on talking and I will keep it going. I hate fighting, man. But it's what they want. No, it's, <laughs> <they're begging laughs> no, it's not what they want. They say, kill them. No, they don't. Yeah. They don't say that. They say it in my sleep. Someone says it. <laughs> and they say it when I close my eyes. You know what? Yeah. Don't kill me. I'm going to try, <laughs> but if the voices get too loud, I don't know how to silence them. <laughs> Great. Well, I'll see you in three episodes. Okay. With a bulletproof vest. <laughs> this one's from Wint. The year is 2043. Men have gotten too much therapy and are now masters of deceit, using their supernatural mental health to get insane <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I like that. I like it because it's it's dystopian. And it didn't end where I thought it was going. <laughs> no, it's very <laughs> academic. And yeah. at the end, to get insane head. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Masters of Deceit is capitalized too, as if it's a book that <laughs> Wint wrote or something. Or a show. Yeah. It sounds like something my parents would watch. Yeah. I also like that supernatural mental health and insane head are kind of like synonyms yeah. for one another. Yeah, an insane head. An insane head. <laughs> oh. Insane head. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, but I'd do it like this. I don't, yeah, it's uh, not about, it's just that you're wearing a hat that says insane. Okay. Yeah, this is an A for me. This is the definition of an A. Yeah, I hope it doesn't happen, though. What? I hope that people stop going to therapy so this doesn't happen. What? Why would you care? Men have gotten too much I read it, I read it. Because I don't want women to be manipulated. Wasn't well, that already kind of happening? I mean, yeah, but I, want it, I don't want it to happen more. At what point, though, do you cross a threshold and you're not actually getting manipulated, though? It's just kind of the status quo. <laughs> kind of like us and the government, if you think about it. No, not like that. They, they, your fans, yeah. dude, our fans. The, are the government same is fans. kind of. Right. We're kind of giving insane head to the government with our tax dollars. Katrina. <laughs> What? <laughs> they are going to eat this up, trust me. Okay. I, Where were you, George? People were dying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And here's us, an old Uncle Sam. <laughs> it's like, I'm Uncle Sam in this, and this is the American taxpayer. <laughs> oh, right there. It's very graphic. Oh, you're drowning? A little more money. Yeah. We're all just sucking off Uncle Sam until he busts. This is not at all about women being manipulated anymore. It's... A for me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we got our first deleted tweet. <laughs> this is from somebody named Tito's and Soda. It's a great name. Brah, I forgot Courage the Cowardly Dog can talk. I thought all he did was cream. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm assuming they meant scream. If that little dog creamed on that show, though, I wouldn't like it as much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, in fact, I've never even seen a dog cream. <laughs> 
<laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. I wish I could say the same. I've bred dogs and I've watched them finish inside of another dog. But you never have seen. I've never seen just the cream. I've never caught a dog masturbating, I guess. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm pretty lucky, I guess. I'm one of the lucky few. This is the best one yet. Eh. It's an A for me. A C for me. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Jake Hole. Question two of two. How would you like to get updates about cheddar cheese? <laughs> Only if something big happens. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What an interesting selection. Never, only if something big happens, a few times a year, a few times a month, or weekly. <laughs> uh, it's obviously not doctored at all. I don't know. I mean, with any of these delivery apps, they kind of just ask you questions that are automated. Yeah. And so it's like you might have ordered cheddar cheese on the side of something. That's true. And it's like, how often would you like to get updates about this item, which is cheddar cheese? I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, if something big happens with cheddar cheese, I better know about it. <laughs> yeah, that's an S for me. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about S. Yep. That's super. Yeah. It's a B for me. <laughs> <laughs> this next one's from Yeet. 2021. I was making my money twerk so good, I was damn near finna fuck it. <laughs> I like saying that, so I'm going to say it again. Sure. I was making my money twerk so good, I was damn near finna fuck it. I was damn near finna fuck it. <laughs> Just really rolls off the tongue. He has a way. You try it out. I was making my money twerk so good, I was damn near finna fuck it. <laughs> That's nice. Yeet has a lot of classics in the yeah. bag. It's kind of all in one tone, and there's like 30 of them that are classics. I like sexualizing the cash. Yeah. <laughs> What is, like, making your money twerk that's making your money work? You know, I don't, I wish that I knew. I'm just not the guy to ask. Yeah. Because, I mean, it could be moving, like, you know, like, ooh, ooh, I got my money, ooh, ooh, like, yeah. using it as a fan or, like, yeah. you know, something mm -hmm. like that. But it could mean that it's, you're making your money work for you through investments. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call my financial advisor and say, Bob, how do I make this money twerk for me while I'm asleep? Yeah. Don't make it twerk too good, though, because I damn near finna fuck it. Right. This is like a C for me. I'll give it a B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got this one. <laughs> so Jonas Brothers Out of Context. That's Nick Jonas. Posts a picture of Nick kind of doing a, a sexual face. <laughs> Maybe a moan to the heavens or a howl to the night. I think that's more of a, I'm hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're cold. It there can be go. either the hot or the cold. This is what kind of when you go up. Yeah, which is a funny image on its own. But then Mr. Peanut comes in <laughs> with an incoming and drops a line of peanut emojis as if they're falling right into his mouth, which is awesome. On a lot of levels, because throwing peanuts... In Nick Jonas's mouth. That's funny. Classic comedy, honestly. Yeah, that's like old slapstick. <laughs> and then, you know, the pun here is Mr. Peanut is nutting on Nick Jonas's <laughs> face. Right, I can see that. I can see how people would interpret it that way. <laughs> and that's what's funny to me. Yeah, because he's ready for it. He's ready <laughs> oh, for yeah. it. Either, no matter what kind of nut is happening, he's ready for it. Yeah, he, he earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he sure did. <laughs> he did. He earned that nut. It's your reward, Nick, for hitting those high notes. <laughs> you go around like you don't. <laughs> Finna make Mr. Peanut bust. <laughs> I'm slipping into the lava. That song's good. That's the one. This is an easy S for me. Maybe my favorite one yet. I'll go with an S as well. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of these accounts on the internet. This one's called, Is Henry Kissinger Dead Yet? And then it just says yes on the day that he died. Did you see that monster? how he looked before he died. Henry Kissinger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? I didn't want to look at him anymore. No. Yeah. It looked like you took the bones out of Jabba the Hutt and mixed them all around or something. Yeah. A big fleshy mess. Uh, this gets a F for me for not being original. I don't really care. Like, I mean, yeah, sure, he's dead. That's good. But like... Yeah. I like that these accounts exist. Eh. I hope there's one for me. Like a Did Dignan Die account? Yeah. Did Diggy Die Yet. I feel like that's not... Like, that's not a good omen. I don't give a fuck about an omen. I saw a crow when I woke up this morning. I broke a mirror, burned a shoelace, walked under a ladder, sipped the devil's Chinese tea. Everybody's got their own morning routine. I don't, that yeah. has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. I'm saying, like, if there's one of these for me, I would live a different way. It wouldn't be good. I had a big part in Henry Kissinger's death, by the way. What do you mean? I was poisoning him for like 25 years. You were what now? I was poisoning him for over 25 years. Why did it take so long? I don't know. I got to refine my poison. Yeah, I I'm working on it. Yeah, what was, what were you feeding him? I don't have time. It's a lot of ingredients. Give me like the five most active ingredients. Salt. <laughs> okay. Liquor. Sure. These nicotine. Are, right. These are all things that you take every day. These are things that I just have ready at my disposal. Okay, but that's not, I mean, they're poison, I guess. I was working them into a soup. Liquor, yeah. salt, nicotine, soup. Pretty much. Isn't that what you just call 
your insides. Blue chews. Again, another thing that you take every day. Yeah, and a I mean, blue. you are rock hard right now. <laughs> I know. I'm standing on no feet. <laughs> You're standing on business. <laughs> Babe, get in here. I'm finally standing on business. <laughs> when was the last time you got rodin? What? Rodin. Ridden? Yes. Two nights ago? Fuck yeah. Trusty old steed. That's what they call you. Ow. Down at the locker shack. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't the one riding. I was Well, right. Ridden. You're the trusty old steed. No, the steed is the... Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Fuck, buddy. I did. <laughs> Two <Yeah>. nights ago. <laughs> but... Give us a horse sound. <laughs> yeah. I'd take that thing to town. There he goes. <laughs> Baby, he's standing on business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough horsing around. Sorry. Next tweet. You guys. I gave it an F. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'll do it in just one second. I'm gonna do it. A, I'm gonna do a C here. This one comes from Ringworm at Prawn Meat. <laughs> Jeopardy question. It's the dribbling sound beloved by NBA fans everywhere. Me. What is donk donk donk? <laughs> Sports noises for 800. <laughs> I love like sincerely buzzing in going, what is donk, donk, donk? Sport noise is for 800. Uh, <laughs> the answer being donk, donk, donk. <laughs> God, I love you, Jeopardy. And I love ringworm, which I have two very serious cases of right now. What, really? Yeah. It's not actually a worm. It's a fungus. No, I know that. Yeah. But it's very contagious. And I'm harvesting it. Harvesting? Yes, I'm harvesting it in little beakers so I can spread it around at will. Why are you spreading around wingworm? Wingworm. Sorry. <laughs> I want to bring it on a plane and put it in the ventilation system. That's such a bad idea. I rubbed a little on your armrest today. Great. Yeah. Now I have ringworm. And I want to get ringworms on the palm of my hand so they resemble the stigmata. <laughs> Goals of 2024. I don't even know what to say to you anymore because that's just devious. It's sinister. There's nothing like... There's nothing sinister about it. I can't kill you. I can't kill you, but you're just... It like It's just to hurt other people. There's no yeah. other reason for it. I guess it's more of like a collective experience. You want to be bonded together with people yeah. via ringworm? I want everyone to have ringworms. Then it's not stigmatized. And is that... That's a stigmata? Stigmatized? <laughs> yeah. Is that the... Okay. It's kind of a joke. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. That works, I guess. But okay. I... I don't know. You've lost like... It used to be it's fun for a lot of people. And oh, now yeah. it seems like it's just fun for you. And you're hurting a lot of other people. They? Who's... Like, why do you... Let's go. All right. We have a fight song, too. No, I'm not. I don't want Ringworm. No. Okay. What's your... What's the Dignan fight song? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet, pal. Later in the video? And once I win the game, I'll play it for you. There is no game to win I'm today. up, so that's right. funny. Whatever. Uh, S for me. I go C. Before we get to the next one, let's tell them about our sponsor, Rocket Money. Please. That's right. Today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Rocket, Rocket Money. Money. Riley, you know how I've been trying so desperately to save up for that 19th century train set, but I really need help getting on top of my expenses. Well, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel your subscriptions, lower your bills, and manage your money better. Correct. I'm using Rocket Money to cancel all my unwanted subscriptions. It safely and securely identifies recurring charges and cancels the unwanted subscriptions subscriptions for you. You can cancel them right in the app with just a couple taps. It's like this? That's right. No need for long customer service calls. I'm not just using Rocket Money to save up for that train set either. I'm using it to lower my bills. Well, lowering your bills will definitely help with the train set. And all you got to do is upload a picture of your bill, tap a few more buttons, and they'll negotiate a lower rate for you. From internet service to cable to phone bills. On average, Rocket Money helps save their customers $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Go to rocketmoney.com slash hivemind or click the link in our description to get a free trial when you sign up for Rocket Money today. You can also unlock even more features with premium. Glory. <laughs> That's rocketmoney.com slash hivemind to get started for free and join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Start saving more and spending less. Thank you, Rocket Money, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. And we're back. More tweets, please. Salem Gas Mask, <laughs> friend of the show, friend of the family. Average hive mind bit. Riley, Drew Barry more. My art teacher said I should have Drew Barry less. Graydon, I'm on opiates. <laughs> Wait, does he have some right now? Does he have opiates? Yeah. Do you know? I, I don't know. Is he holding? I don't know. I haven't well, seen him in a couple... He's supposed to fucking tell me when he's holding. I haven't seen him in a couple days. If he's holding and he hasn't texted me, we have a problem. That's something you guys have to work out. Okay. I don't care because, <laughs> yeah. honestly, it's gotten really tough for me <laughs> yeah, between well, you two. I'm a little stressed out now. Just kind of thinking about him sitting at home on a big bag without me. I, that's fine. I get a cut, bro. I introduced him to Victor. Who is Victor? Victor is a squirrel that we trained to not hide acorns for the winter, but pills. 
from an old lady. The squirrel goes into her house and steals her prescriptions, Riley, and hides them underground. It's fucking genius. I guess. And then we follow Victor around, dig him up, and we repurpose those opiates as we see fit. Why is the squirrel's name Victor? <laughs> Because that was my old plug's name. And I'm pretty sure he got turned into a squirrel. <laughs> no. He acts just like him, dude. He acts like your plug? Victor used to do this. <laughs> and I shit you not, the squirrel goes. That's what squirrels do. Know, yeah. It's fucking, it's pretty weird coincidence. I don't know. It's, Victor could be any squirrel, it seems like to me. But... Victor used to live in a tree. <laughs> 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 now he lives in a house. Because the drug money. He made the lot. So now he lives in a house. He doesn't have to hibernate. That's why he hides the pills and not acorns. Are you talking about the squirrel or the plug? <laughs> the squirrel. Okay. Wait. Squirrel lives in the house now. Because <laughs> he made a lot of money off drugs. Our drugs. Is the plug. Well, the old Where is Victor drugs. the plug? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I think he got turned into a squirrel. No. Because <laughs> he used to go. Okay. This seems disparaging, though, in a weird way. I like it. You gotta learn to laugh at yourself. <laughs> I give it an A. I go S. Ah, we got, <laughs> yes. This is, uh, this is quite a thing happening on the internet. This is v -Lone Predator, aka Pilgrim, on Twitter, who has been taking pictures of people and then <laughs> quote tweeting them with what they would look like if they were black or Chinese. Uh -huh. Understandably, there was some backlash to this. And one person, this is the anonymous person here, actually doxed the user, v -Lone Predator. And so then, v -Lone Predator quote tweeted their own doxing tweet. <laughs> with pictures of himself and what he would look like black and Chinese, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of layers here. This is just really a whole world and a trend that has really gone in waves yeah. of whether it's accepted on the internet or not. At the beginning, people were like, fuck no. No, no, this no. This is not okay. Yeah. It's not cool to be laughing at this. It seems to have taken a turn where everybody just loves it and yeah. thinks it's really funny. Yeah. Mostly based on the selections of who v -Lone Predator is <laughs> making black <laughs> and Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> and also tweets that have kind of built on it like Jeremy Allen Black and Jeremy Allen Chinese. <laughs> or I'm dreaming of a Black and Chinese Christmas. People did that one? No, I came up with that one and didn't tweet it because I was scared. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have tweeted that either. Yeah. Black and Chinese Ferrari. Uh, uh. <laughs> I wasn't here for any of this trend. Yeah, you're not on Twitter. I feel bad that I missed out, I guess. It's still happening. Everybody kind of wants to be turned black and Chinese yeah. on Twitter right now, they're <laughs> hoping. Could this end racism? No. Is it doing the opposite? Honestly, I just don't know. Yeah. I think some days I'm like, it's worse. Yeah. Some days I think it's better. Net negative or net positive this trend? Let us know in the comments. Oh, yeah, I give it a D. I'm a leaning racist. <laughs> <laughs> Because I do think it's it's kind of wrong to just laugh at someone because they got <laughs> AI'd into a different race. <laughs> Here's the beautiful thing about our show. Yeah. Agree to disagree. Right. A or F. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, this person says, trying the wrap a gift to look like another gift strategy for today's white elephant. Keeping an eye on whoever picks this Cheesecake Factory <laughs> gift card. <laughs> wow, and it so much looks like a gun. <laughs> Oh, does it? Yeah. Now, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen a lot of guns. To me, it looks like whatever they scan your groceries with. Those are decommissioned Glock 9s <laughs> that they just put lasers in. Really? Yeah. That's what a gun looks like? Yeah. So colorful. <laughs> wow. Well, it's more dangerous giving children guns or giving them gift cards to the Cheesecake Factory. And that's a conversation that we should have because yeah. that's an extensive menu. Yeah. It's like uh, the Cheesecake Factory menu is like 10th grade reading level. We shouldn't give that to kids. It'll be overwhelming for them. Let's work their way out. Let's give them the giver first. Yeah. It could be a gateway to drugs, violence, and sexual deviancy. I think it's just deviance, but either way, how? Well, I don't know. They could be so overwhelmed that like the traditional roles in life seem not fit for them. And so they revert to... To a life of crime, sexual deviance, and drugs. I don't see, I don't know. I don't see the parallels. The education systems failed these kids, so they turn into the people we don't like that are drug addicts and sexual freaks and criminals. We like drug addicts. I do. Yeah, me too. Where am I on the political spectrum? Imagine you go to open this one and bang! Cheesecake Factory gift card. <laughs> yeah, this is an S for me. A for me. All right. I saw this one actually the other day. Okay. Someone tweets, when the race war is happening and I got to kill Tony Hawk. It seems like a picture of Wesley Snipes crying, <laughs> holding a gun. And Tony Hawk replies, I appreciate the hesitation though. <laughs> The best response he could have to this. And he looks like such a cute dad. Oh, yeah. You know, his son, Riley, married Francis Bean Cobain. 
Who's that? Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love's daughter. Francis Bean. Francis Bean Cobain. Bean. Francis Bean Cobain. <laughs> You're quivering. Yeah. Why? The word that they, the middle name there. Bean. <laughs> What's so funny about that? This is a classic funny word right there. Bean. <laughs> and like due to Francis's parents. Kurt and Courtney? Yeah. Why? They're just two historical figures. That'd be like if Abe Lincoln's son's middle name was Sprinkle. <laughs> Why? Or tinsel. <laughs> it's getting frustrating. Corkscrew. It's getting very frustrating. I don't know where you're going today. <laughs> Woodrow Wilson's daughter's name was Corkscrew. <laughs> Seems a little silly for a. some reason. Uh, whatever. I go and you give me a C. <laughs> Aaron K. Rubio, Dancing Bird 222. If I woke up in Taylor Swift's body, the first thing I would do is post a video of me taking the fattest <laughs> bong rip and caption it, I hate my white fans, and then turn off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> this, I haven't really played around in this space. I love this as a premise. I love this tweet. I remember the day oh, that this came out. Wow. Just a... <laughs> <laughs> I hate my white fans. <laughs> That is awesome. I like the idea that she's she's doing the bong rip video. She's not saying, I right. hate my white fans out loud. <laughs> it's the caption. <laughs> <laughs> An unrelated, I hate my white fans video of Taylor Swift smoking a bong. And then... Turn off my phone. <laughs> wow. Honestly, I don't understand sometimes big celebrities' ability to not do shit like this. Like, I would think it was so funny if every move I make is being reported the way that Taylor Swift's is, Drake. How do they not just wake up and tweet something insane and turn off their phone and be like, haha, this is now a huge news story? Yeah, I think uh, the boring answer is just a lot of people kind of rely on them for paychecks. Right. right. I, I don't know if Drake can even tweet on his own. But he can go live and say, I need a Max Ween. <laughs> W's in the shot. This reminded me actually of Ricky Rubio's recent retirement. And I just want to take the time to say thank you, Rick, for bringing that special Spanish flair to the NBA. And despite you not living up to the higher expectations of those scouts at the time when you were drafted, I think your career was very memorable. And uh, we as fans want to thank you, right? Listen, we just got our ass whooped. I just don't think it's a good time to bring this up. I don't think it's an appropriate time to ask that question. Yeah. So that's on the interviewer. Okay. That's not on me. This is an S. S. Oh, the legend herself. Skatey420. Guys, I just found out about adult porn. What a game changer. <laughs> Now, Skatey420 <laughs> has been on this show. Yeah. Has sat betwixt us yeah. <laughs> right here mm -hmm. and done this exact tier list with us. Yeah. Different tweets, obviously, but same concept. And sometimes I see a tweet from Skatey420 that I'm like, I hope the world understands what she's going for here because it's easy to see what and be like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? <laughs> yeah. But that's kind of the whole, the, uh, it's a spear of comedy that's stabbing the weak woke. <laughs> Did you have that? You had that prepared, yeah. Okay, you brought that. Her you comedy is a spear, and she right. pokes at the weak, woke whale that lurks under the ship of intellectual ha-has. <laughs> yeah, you wrote that down. I just am I'm positive about it. Was that a guitar solo? <laughs> Don't do that. I got shit that they like, and <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah, do whatever you want. I'm just, it's just not, all right, whatever. <laughs> This tweet is both brave and depraved. Yeah. <laughs> I've told Katie this in real life. I have said, I can't imagine what your drafts look like because what you decide to click send on is unbelievable. Yeah. That being said, I give it an A. Yeah, I give it an A too. <laughs> I've been working on the railroad. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah and Yankee Doodle Dandy. Were those songs that were obviously written pre-DJ era, why do they blend so perfectly together? I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Yankee Doodle went to town. Whoa, you changed key. Well, this is a different key. <laughs> I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle, whoa. That's not how the song goes. <laughs> it's like a mashup, though. They blend Yankee together Doodle. perfectly. Yankee Doodle went to town oh. riding a... Oh, wait. <laughs> you lost it. Yankee Doodle. Wait, how does that go? Yankee Doodle <laughs> went to town. I'm riding on mine on track. A pony. Where's that other note? It's so weird. Yankee Doodle. No, it's not. <laughs>
<laughs> Yankee Doodle went to town. Ride it. <laughs> what the fuck? This is impossible. I'm so annoyed. Yankee, Yankee Doodle, Doodle went to town riding on a pony. All right. Yankee Doodle went to town. <laughs> Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony. Took a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. Someone's in the kitchen with dynamite. What is that? Someone's song? in the kitchen. I never even heard that song. I've been working on the rail. I mean, it's like a perfect. If, no, you, if it was like 1788 and I was DJing, I would fuck that shit up, bro. Fucking white wig on, fucking ringworm all over. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't even know the other, the second song. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah, throwing on that old banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, next. <laughs> this one's from Blade. In the shower that is, <laughs> in the shower that is life, let me be the soap. <laughs> this motherfucker is like Ralph Waldo Emerson. In the shower that is life, let me be the soap. I want to be the drain. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm a trash horse. <laughs> Motherfucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would be. Why wouldn't he be the drain? I want to be the drain so I can get pissed on. Pissed in. Pissed through. Pissed <laughs> over. Not everyone pisses in the shower. Most people do. I've done it, I think, like twice ever. Three times ever, maybe. I pee down in both my legs. It calms the ringworm burn a little bit. It's a lot like jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you pee down both your legs? You just switch what? sides? You just have to put something in the middle. You fork the river. Ah, okay. <laughs> fork yeah. the stream. Right. Fork the stream! As if there's a little bit of sexual residue from the night before, splitting the stream in two. Sexual residue is an <laughs> awesome name. Right? That's yeah. actually uh, it's a good band name. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me it's Dave Grohl's daughter's name or something. <laughs> 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 um, I give this an S because it's poetry. F. I hate poetry. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. So, <laughs> it's a screenshot of an account <laughs> with the at racist pedophile. <laughs> it says account suspended and somebody tweets that and says, what did he do? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that's, that's an S for me. I don't know. <laughs> Only on Twitter, you know? I've been trying to get back into that account for years. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like this one a lot. I'm going A. Also, we didn't call this like best X's of all time tier list. Never would I ever. Because that gets confusing. Our best X post. It's just, it's still Twitter. It's still tweets in my mind. I just don't think the name change stuck. My best X was G Gina. <laughs> because of the way she did it to me. That's why she's my best X. Yeah. I never dated a girl named Gina. I know. Yeah. Next tweet, Grant. Next we got from Chib, 6'4". <laughs> <laughs> if I was a plant and someone sprayed me with water, I would probably moan a little bit. <laughs> LOL. Another deleted tweet. <laughs> I don't see why you deleted this one. <laughs> do I. There are some plants that'll do that. Like, you ever had a really dry, wilted plant? Yeah, and if you spray it, it'll be like, mm, it'll kind of come back to it, life a little bit uh, in front of you. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you spray it a little bit, it goes, uh, Yeah. <laughs> And some plants can come. <laughs> Milkweed, specifically. Uh -huh. A favorite of the monarch butterfly. If you snap it, it's full of semen. Really? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. You know that a daisy can scream. <laughs> I did know that. Yeah. yeah the if daisy you dump scream. a bunch of water on it, it'll shriek. Yeah, I have heard the shrieking of daisies many a times before. I have heard the shrieking of daisies. <laughs> and when the spring snow does come, the shrieking of daisies can be heard from the gardens of past. <laughs> What's that I hear? Is that the shrieking of daisies? Oh no! In March. Very peculiar. <laughs> yeah. S. Yeah, I love this one, S. All right, this one's from Microsoft Edge. It's almost the end of the year and we want to see how you edge. <laughs> Show us your most memorable edges. <laughs> This is the case of a brand either knowing nothing about the internet or knowing too much about it. What's next, Microsoft goon? <laughs> you don't have to try to be cool with the kids and stuff. I'm not trying to be cool. Not trying to be cool. I don't want to be cool. I mean, that's on Chance the Rapper, Kyle and Big Sean. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I ain't trying to be cool. Ah! <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah. I don't want to be cool. <laughs> I don't want to be cool. Yeah. Why did we decide that he was bad with the big day and not when he put out that song? Cause I, I don't know. This one, uh... Do you I, practice edging? 
What? Do you practice? No. Are you a practicer of the edge? You just no. kind of go straight for it? I feel like it gradually, as you get older, it's kind of easier to control. Yeah, but the practicing of edging is like, it's like a personal torment that ends in pleasure. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like to punish. I'm not like a big punishment guy. Oh, really? Not sexually, no. Why do you have the Punisher sticker on the back of your car, then? <laughs> oh, that means something different. People just have it twisted. Uh. They don't understand what it stands for. Enough of the Punisher. It's time to punish him. Who? I don't know. It seems like something people would say, right? Like a feminist thing, maybe? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Boom. Punish him. The, yeah. The, yep. the universal. Enough thing. punishing her. Let's punish him. It's actually kind of genius. You're welcome. I'd love to see misogynists get tortured in public. Oh. Yeah, me too. Maybe not to death, but like... No, no, no. Maybe like a dart. You can throw one dart at their belly button. Right. As if it's a bullseye and either way it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Hell. I give this an S. Honestly, no matter if it was intentional or not. I'm kind of with you. It's genius and I love to edge. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking maybe six feet and so far down. One thing I love about Twitter nowadays, and this is not an original thought, but how it's manifested has changed, is I saw something very serious posted on Twitter. Tucker Carlson talking to Kevin Spacey. Mm -hmm. That's not the serious part, mm -hmm. but they did like a little interview together or whatever. And somebody quote tweeted it talking about Kevin Spacey and his trial and the mysterious disappearance and deaths of his witnesses and victims, his mm -hmm. accusers, and how sinister he's become since playing that role on House of Cards. Mm -hmm. And I scrolled down to see the conversation about it. And it's mostly a serious conversation conversation about him, even one person saying they worked with him. Then I scroll down and the fourth response is someone with OnlyFans in their name, an OnlyFans model of some sort, that says, I could take them both, threesome, in parentheses. <laughs> And I just love that because it's a very serious thing yeah. and it's not like okay to laugh when you're scrolling through this thread. I was like horrified scrolling through it. I really didn't know a lot of this information. Then I see that and I just think one, this OnlyFans model sees this as an opportunity to convert Tucker Carlson and Kevin Spacey people to subscribers yeah. on her OnlyFans. It says, now what would do it? How about the mental image of Tucker Carlson and Kevin Spacey yeah. having a threesome with me? Yeah. <laughs> Double penetration. You find that in most conversations on the internet, people are horny. Right. Which is a troubling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, Sam Onella. I get the point of the phrase, hurt people, hurt people, but I just hear a command twice. <laughs> <laughs> hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> it's kind of like the, the stuff up here. Yeah. Yeah, you've been talking about the, okay, don't lean away from me. It makes me uneasy. I'm just trying not to listen to it. You know what it wants me to do? What? Kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should stop wearing an earpiece during the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would solve a lot of stuff. So I finally got a hold of Graydon. Victor's moving that weight tonight. Victor is a squirrel. <laughs> He is. You got it now. You figured it out. I give this one a B. It's funny. It gave me a little chuckle. It's all right. It's just like hurt people is such like a soft command. Hurt them. <laughs> Mine says some other stuff. Bring them to within an inch of death. And then record. 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 <laughs> I give it a C. It's from Jay Grinds. I met your BM crib throwing M&Ms at your kid head full speed. This is a classic. I mean, an M&M &M really packs a punch when you whip it. For some reason, I <laughs> this is like my internet brain. It's fucked up. I think mm -hmm. of Russell Wilson and Future's Kid here. Why? Future's Kid, they always say, like, plays catch with Russell Wilson. Because yeah. he's with Sierra. So I just thought of Russell Wilson whipping an M&M &M at Future's <laughs> Child. He's got an arm for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would hurt like shit. Russell, your accuracy's improved by 8% this year. Uh, what was your secret in the offseason? I was throwing M&Ms at Future's trial. <laughs> Ironically, we're a little unsure about his future in the NFL. More after this. <laughs> Should we fuck the green M&M? &M? What? I don't know, dude. That seemed like it. Is that still a topic? No. Are we fucking the green M&M &M or not? No. I <laughs> no. don't think so. I think they desexualized her because it's a chocolate candy. It just Are the other M&Ms fucking any m and I don't think there's... <laughs> Are the M&Ms getting off Canon on each other? Canonically, no. But I mean... Why do they wear shoes then? What, what is that? What does that have to do with getting off? Nothing else that wears shoes doesn't fuck. What about asexual folks? Ah, good for them. They've evolved. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. That's some yeah. gotcha journalism right yeah. there. Yeah, something about nudist colonies. I'm new to this colony. <laughs> do we got to take our clothes off? <laughs> a. Hey, it's a classic. It gets an A. Right, this one's from Fry. Judas. Okay, guys, what's everybody bringing for the Last Supper? Jesus, the what supper? Judas, the regular supper. Ordinary supper. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is like some Facebook ass shit. Yeah, because Judas, because uh, Judas didn't invite Jesus anymore after this because he got new friends or something. What? Because <laughs> Jesus lost in the fantasy football league. No, I what, what go the hell anymore. are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying, I get it. Like, no, get Judas betrayed Jesus at the Last Supper, so it was he be... slept with his sister. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus didn't have a sister. It doesn't matter. Judas betrayed Jesus by giving him up for, I think, 30 pieces of silver. So it ended up being the Last Supper. But Jesus wouldn't have known it was the Last Supper because he didn't know he was going to get betrayed. Well, the loser of my fantasy football league gets crucified. <laughs> we put him on a cross. We nail him to it. Seems extreme. Yeah, we poke him in the belly with spears. We spray paint, loser dick, right above their dick. <laughs> loser dick. <laughs> yeah, that's the loser of my fantasy football league's punishment. What's yours do? TikTok? I don't have a fantasy football yeah. league, but also, <laughs> who does yours? Who's what? gonna, somebody's gonna die? Uh, we bring him close. <laughs> the guy last year did die. Well, who's that? His name was Victor. <laughs> <laughs> It's I'm, not what I'm you're thinking, so it's a different Victor. It's, yeah, it's Victor Cruz. Who's Victor Cruz? The former New York Giants wide receiver who did the cha cha celebration. <laughs> we killed him. Isn't he alive? No, not anymore. <laughs> At least I don't think we was a pasture somewhere and we left. Too gory for a lot of the guys in the league. They got weak stomachs. Who lost this season? Because isn't the season over now? You lost. Yeah, this weekend. Super wild card weekend. That's when the crucifixion happens every year for me and my fantasy football buddies. <laughs> Well, I, for one, hope they face the cross towards the TV so you can watch. <laughs> Ow, thank it's going to be man. a great weekend of football. Ow, yeah, fuck. seriously. Yeah, I'm excited, man. And if this comes out after Super Wild Card Weekend, I hope they face you towards the TV for the divisional round. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of good football this weekend. A lot weekend. of good football this weekend, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Okay, sorry. I will fucking Why? kill you. No, the you voice won't. in my head is telling me to kill you. It's not the voice <laughs> in your head, it's the voice in your ear, and that's the other co-host. And you're scuffing my you're scuffing my kicks. <laughs> Those aren't, they're scuffed as fuck yeah, already. I will scuff your fuck. They're fucked as scuff. I will fuck your scuff up, buddy. I could just fucking look at you and snap you in half. But no! <laughs> I give this a D because it's like some Facebook ass shit, but I do like religion jokes. I don't get it. D. <laughs> Here we go. A scientist will see a mouse or rat and say, put that beast in a situation. <laughs> see, this is, this is the type of joke that I like. We have been torturing mice and rats for so long. Because just test them. What are they really good for? <laughs> I know. It's, I'm down with it. Yeah. We can clone a pig. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I mean, I know what you mean, but I don't know what you mean in this. We've cloned stuff. I don't even care if they're cloned mice. There's too many mice, too many rats. That's what I'm saying. Let's start doing little, little games with them or whatever. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. We can fix male hair loss. Unrelated, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. We've made My, wonderful strides in the scientific field. Did those have anything to do with mice? All, no. All, of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> We gave mice cocaine. That's how squirrels were made, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's that book. When you give a mice cocaine, it turns into a squirrel. That's awesome book. Because that's why they're always freaking out, burying stuff, forgetting where they left it. They're Wonderful. running around, they're like, what the fuck, 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 what the fuck. Mice always want to climb trees, but can't. And then when you give them cocaine, they can because of the strength. Yeah. I think we should put cameras on all New York rats and run them live stream on Twitch. DJ Academics did that for a while. Really? With the one rat. Oh, yeah. This is an S. S, easy S. <laughs> Some fried ass shit, and I love it. <laughs> Says, they done fucked up and gave me a Pegasus. Picture of a young man and a horse, and then a picture of what <laughs> appears to be a horse being ridden through the sky. <laughs> It's a very small silhouette there, but this looks like a cemetery album cover. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they fucked up. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so now I'm gonna fly it around. I have no business having a Pegasus. So here I go. Yeah. I'm gonna be irresponsible with this flying horse. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a cloud. That's an S. Yeah. But that's what Twitter's for, is yeah. stuff like this. At least in this era. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Jeremiah, who says, I know Abraham Lincoln's hat went flying when he got assassinated in that theater. This is like also some dumbass <laughs> Facebook shit. It's just so visual comedy. I don't think it's necessarily funny to joke about the assassination of former presidents. You're saying that. You? I'm just saying. I think it's kind of murky waters if you start treading into the, the depths of assassination jokes. I am like relatively confident that yeah. you have made a joke about all 46 presidents being assassinated. Are you relatively confident that you've never seen anybody do this before? I've seen you do that before. Bullshit. I thought of it this morning. You didn't think of that. 
<laughs> first thought in my head when I woke up this morning was, <laughs> you skipped a step. That's not the same. Uh, shut up, pipsqueak. <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve this. And by this, I mean being on this show. <laughs> I hope your fans love this. You're just mad that I got a guitar solo thing with my fans and you don't got nothing. That's true. Check it out. <laughs> and now he's playing drums too. I've been sprinkling that one in. Everyone's Where well. do I play in the band? <laughs> what? You don't play in the fucking band. You're a roadie. <laughs> no, we don't even have a bassist. That's, a, that's a for chicks. <laughs> Bassist is a chick's instrument. <laughs> we are six electric guitars, a drummer, and a guy with a stick. A guy, what is the guy with the stick? Do? Force fields, mostly. He <laughs> creates energy spectrums that he vibes out into the crowd. He's like a wizard. I want to go that far. I've seen real wizards. So have I. I did a semester at Howard's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry School. The HBCU. <laughs> They should do a black wizard. What's that movie called? What movie? Harry Potter. They should do an all black <laughs> Harry Potter reboot with Cat Williams. <laughs> He's Harry. Guess what? I lived, bitch. <laughs> I told him I wouldn't wear a dress, but I'd wear a wizard's robe. <laughs> and I don't care what you say, Hagrid. Not all three of them dogs can be friendly. <laughs> and muggles, don't be mad that I'm calling y'all muggles because I can't remember your names individually. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> this is good, but it's not great. For me, it is a C. This one from Evangeline. During makeout sesh, me pulls away. Okay, Google Glass, tweet, need me a pounding father to ride my declaration of into penis. <laughs> Girl, what? My son Crump, who has every disease. <laughs> Water. <laughs> what could this possibly mean? You don't get it? <laughs> You don't have Google Glass? I don't have Google Glass, but oh. I don't think that matters. I'm what's who's the son crump who has every disease? <laughs> Evangeline's son crump has every disease and seems thirsty. Need me a pounding father to ride my declaration of into penis. That's like those chain messages that you get on Fourth of July. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> why is the son saying water? I don't this is awesome, but like what the fuck? Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. I feel like I miss not only one thing, but maybe multiple things. This it's like when you walk in on your roommate watching a TV show and you're like, oh, <laughs> it's the middle of a season and you don't know the plot and something's <laughs> happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the middle of a TV show that you're not watching it, watching it, watching it, at. <laughs> you're not watching it. It's like if you walk in on someone watching an anime, something crazy happens and you don't get it because there's no point of reference for you as a non-viewer. Fuck, man. I would have signed the Declaration of Independence with my cock. I would have dipped it in ink. <laughs> Quit looking over there, dude. I'll give this a P. This is an S. Okay, this next one seems to be a quote from Owen Wilson. It says, between you and me, there's no way to fake a dog dying on camera. Doesn't work. Period. <laughs> it's got to be real. <laughs> <laughs> Owen Wilson unprompt. <laughs> I believe this is the onion or click hole, one of those. Or it could be real. I don't think that it's real. Could have been overheard at a party. Between you and me, there's no way to fake a dog dying on camera. It doesn't work, period. <laughs> it's gotta be real. <laughs> yeah, just ask the director of Milo and Otis. Is that the one? Is it not Marley and Me? For what? The dog dying? The dog in the plot of Marley and Me, the novel that the movie is based off of, does in fact die. Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot. There's no reason Which to do brought that. tears okay. to many adults and children. Warmed the hearts of America. Sure. Milo and Otis, adorable little movie about a dog and a cat who escape their farm and go on a journey that will forever change their lives and the lives of many children that watched that movie growing up. But behind the scenes, the director of that movie, in order to execute the adventure that those two beautiful barn critters went on, needed to film it not in America. I'm not going to say a generic location because I don't want to catch flack. But in that area, the laws allowed them to kill many a pug and cat in order to achieve the cinematic brilliance that is that movie. Do you know how many pugs and how many cats? Like over 20. And there's scenes where like the cat takes a jump and says, I'm coming Otis. And then it pans out. And as a kid, you're like, huh, 
How'd they do that? <laughs> and then <laughs> even really think about it. <laughs> I did. And now, as you watch that scene, just know. You were watching a cat's last moments. Yeah, it's almost like faces of death. That's fucked up. Was Owen Wilson in that movie? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I don't think there's any people in that movie. No, Snoop Dogg's in it. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I'm saying he voices a dog. Yeah, no. Maybe it's in Beethoven. No famous people in Milo Notice. Or Lassie. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Gets an S for me. Yeah, it's a classic. I, I give it an S as well. <laughs> well, 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 those were our takes on some of the best tweets of all time, according to you guys, by the way. We got these sent to us on Patreon and Discord, so join our Patreon or join our Discord if you'd like to submit some tweets for the next one. Other than that, we'd like to thank our sponsor for today's video, Rocket, Rocket Money. Money. Start a free trial of Rocket Money when you click the link in our description, rocketmoney.com slash hivemind. Thank you, Rocket Money. Save up! Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning, the Copes drop. Hive Mind Limited, subscribe to that. But the last thing that we have to do is Dignan. Can you give these people some advice to leave or live their lives by? Thanks for watching. It's all you could do. All right, this has been Hive Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. I'd be checking stuff off on my fuck it list. Well, it's on there right now. Eh, fuck it, buy a Ferrari. That's on your list? Fuck it, buy a fedora, change up my style. There you go. Fuck it, apply for 10 jobs, do the interviews with no intention of taking the job. That's good for you, <laughs> social practice. Yeah, it's social practice. Yeah. Exactly.